what really rocked my faith recently is a lot of verses being taken out. I see a lot on TikTok and stuff. And when I go look at it myself with the translations I have, it's true. It's true. It's not there in some translations. Right. But notice, it's actually not worrying at all. It, nothing has actually been taken out of the Bible. Nothing mm. has. Let me explain. Did you know that verse numbers were not in the original Bible? The Hebrew and Greek translation? So in the original Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic copies yeah. of the Bible, there were no such thing as chapter numbers or verse numbers. Oh, yeah, because they're all books, eh? They were just individual books. They didn't say <laughs> verse 1, verse 2, verse 3. No, we've mm. added... 500 to 800 years ago, a couple of different people added in the chapter numbers and then someone else added in the verse numbers simply for our reference purposes. That makes sense, yeah, that's true. And the person then who put the verse numbers in, mm. in Matthew 17, the manuscript that he was using to insert the verse numbers, his manuscript wasn't the earliest manuscript we've got of the New Testament, of Matthew's Gospel. And his yeah. manuscript simply happened to have an extra phrase in that part and wow. so he said, oh, I'm going to make a verse 21 out of that. But now that we know that's not in the earliest manuscripts, because we can go back to manuscripts from thousands of years ago to see yeah. there is no extra phrase. So helpfully, our modern translations don't have that extra phrase, and therefore they don't have a verse 21 because there is no content in verse 21. Um, you make me feel so good. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like just a lot of, and it's something that I always carry. And like, I even tell my Muslim friends straight up, I don't have the answer. I think God allows these sort of things to occur to actually drive us into studying the Bible more and getting to know the history of it so we can be better informed about it. It shouldn't make us doubt it because the Bible hasn't been corrupted. Nothing's been lost out of it because we have 5,800 manuscript copies of the New Testament in the original mm -hmm. Greek. And so even if someone wanted to corrupt one of those copies, all the other copies wouldn't have that corruption. And so therefore we can know that yeah. the Bible hasn't been changed or corrupted. That's so good. That's so good to know.